this is way bigger. Oh, yeah. oh no, she's dry. All right, so last week you would have seen that I went to Kinetic Cycles and I went shopping for bikes. That time of year, time for a new bike. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that. So this isn't gonna spoil it. But if you have watched that video, it's time to reveal my new bike and here it is. This is the 2021 Evil Reckoning V3. So it is the XT build, but I'm actually not done building it. As you can imagine, with all the supply issues, I haven't put my bike together totally completely yet. So I'm not gonna go through all the parts just yet. I'll do another video, complete bike check, going through all the parts and why I chose them. We'll save that for another day. But today we're gonna go to the North Shore and we're gonna take this for its very first ride. And luckily it wasn't as snowy as it is today. So let's go. All right. We're back on the shore, but we're on the new rig. We got the Evil Reckoning V3 out. Let's just skip ahead over to the climb trail and we'll talk a bit more how this thing gets up the hill. All right, so we're going up the climb trail. Nice, you know, well kept, pretty mellow climb trail, but this thing climbs really, really well. This is the first time where I actually don't use the climb switch. Every other bike, the Enduro, the Altitude, the Noli, they all pedal pretty well, but I always end up just using the climb switch because like, it does make it a little better. This time I actually don't feel the need. I actually forget about it, forget about even flipping it. It doesn't feel like this thing is bobbing around at all. So I'm pretty happy with how it's climbing. And another thing is these versus tires. They've got a nice, a nice roll to them. I've been riding those max grip double down tires for a while. And oh boy, they're slow. Grippy, but climbing does suck on them. I'm really glad to be back on, <laughs> back on the versus tires to climb up a little easier because, oh, I already suck at it. <laughs> Need all the help I can get. All right, well, let's go do some downhill. That's what we're all here for. Whew. All right, let's try this on the brand new bike. Oh yeah, no problem. Oh, wow, this thing corners are very tight. Whew -hoo. So when I was bleeding my brakes, I, <laughs> I think I spilled a bit of oil on the front, so I think they're pretty loud. Just a warning. Wow. Ice on the bridge? No. <laughs> you know, with how much like any squat or whatever, how well this thing pedals, I was really expecting it to be a bit more harsh on the bones. That's chattery stuff, but yeah, it feels great. Whew. Oh, it's so cold. It's hard to get the body <laughs> loose and warmed up here. A little nervous. Brand new bike, first ride, freezing cold. Definitely feeling super stiff right now. But, oh yeah. Definitely liking how this bike feels. Thought maybe my bars were a little too high, especially with the 35 mil rise, but I don't know now. It's feeling, it's feeling pretty good. Oh, <laughs> a little nervous to toss a fast manual right now. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to come out today because I was like, it's been sunny for the last few days, it hasn't rained, and it's cold, so at least it's dry. I still have the altitude demo, and I figured I would uh, ride that in the wet before I just throw this thing into the mud. But today is nice and dry because everything's frozen. Oh yeah, there's that front brick. <laughs> Gotta clean that off a little better, I think. Works really well. 
but she's loud. Okay, good. This this trail is nice and dry. Definitely don't want any ice here. Oh yeah, this thing jumps like the dream. That short rear end, so easy to toss around. Oh, it's so cold. Ooh, icy. <laughs> Yeah, this thing feels super zippy. Definitely not as sort of a plush off the top with my coiled enduro, but yeah, it feels a little tighter, a little, a little more snug, a little sharper on the trail, easier to manual and bunny hop, which is what I was looking for. Woo wee. All right, let's try this thing out on some, some flat. I'd say for this kind of riding, my bars are probably a little too high. I'm way up in the stratosphere. But this thing pedals so well. Actually, quite impressive. And then it's kind of like when you want it, that suspension is there. And if you are looking at getting one of these reckonings or even an offering or any evil, go down to Kinetic Cycles and cook with them. They still got a few left as of today, but I'm sure that won't last forever. Whew. All right, we'll start things off with a little double black. How you doing move? Hopefully there's no ice on it. Let's check. Oh uh, yeah, it looks pretty ice free to me. Oh yeah, this thing. So much easier to get around those sharp corners. <laughs> that short rear end. And I've got it in the low setting, not the extra low, which I think puts the head tube angle in like 64 and a half area with the 170 mil fork I've got. And now we're on John Deere, the flow trail of the shore. I think this bike should be a lot of fun on this trail. But I would say this trail tends to scare me because you can go real fast and it's easy to get out of control. It is a blue trail, so there's not huge burns on it, but there is a lot of flat corners and you can go fast and slip out or get a little squirrely. Definitely something that's not my strong suit. It is this bike's strong suit though. Just absolutely meant for shredding this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I should try breaking a little earlier, maybe into the corners and then just being more confident with my lean instead of getting scared and slowing down too much. Holding up my friends. Oh yeah. Yeah, this bike is definitely what I was hoping it was gonna be. A big bike that isn't just super plush. So the, the suspension's there for when I wanna do a big hit or whatever. But it's almost like most of the time, it feels like a smaller travel bike and that's perfect for me. It's definitely feeling pretty all around territory. So far, so good. Definitely, definitely happy I went with this. So far, you never know. We got a long summer ahead of us. Yeah, I'm still unsure of how I'm feeling about my bar height. So having your bar is high definitely helps with like bunny hops and manuals and jumping. Oh, I'm in the lowest gear in the world. 
Woo! <laughs> and that's all well and good, but when you're riding trails like this, it can be a little hard to get all your weight over the front wheel. So it's a little more slippy maybe, but I also maybe just need to get used to it. This is my <laughs> literal first trail ride on this bike. So it's maybe a little less intuitive than some of the bikes I've ridden. Because of that, like super short end, it's not as slack. Definitely a different feeling sort of suspension platform, like I mentioned. But so not riding at 100% yeah, that's for sure. But I can tell. I can tell this is what I wanted. And it's all about, so there's bits of riding where I have a bit of a deficit. And so I want to go with this bike to kind of make up for it. So I want a long travel bike, but one that pedaled well. And I found that I'm not so great at cornering, having a hard time steering bikes. So I wanted a bike that's a little more playful and well i like to run manuals and money hops and jumping so i wanted something that had that kind of focus and that's kind of how i landed on the old reckoning here okay Whew, let's begin the pedal back up all right back to the top notice that my water is now becoming more like a icy slush that's how cold it is out here right now i think it's, it was like five below when i left so pretty chilly. And don't worry, I was from Winnipeg and I spent time in Churchill, Manitoba, right at the tip of the Hudson Bay there. I know what real cold is. It was like legitimately 45 below there. So I know it could be much worse, but you know what? I'm totally uh, acclimatized to this above zero weather now and totally, I've gone soft. I'm not afraid to admit it. All right, let's ride Boogeyman double black on the new rig. Definitely loving that double shift down on the Shimano's. How could I live without it now? Oh, look at these conditions are insane though. Dirt, summertime. Well, you know, temperature freezing, Arctic, but the dirt, insane, so good. Oh yeah. I already said this, but man, it's crazy. Oh, puddles, <laughs> trying to avoid those. Uh, it's crazy how well this thing pedals and then how plush it feels at the same time when you're actually riding it down the trail. Definitely pretty crazy. Let's try and do this little drop. Yes, always forget to do that. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, this bike rides definitely, definitely weird. All right, now is this skinny going to be a death, a death sentence? Oh no, she's dry. Oh, 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 oh! Uh, I almost fell off. Almost fell off. And whoop onto here. Whoa, boom! No problem for the new rig. You know what? Cold but no snow and dry trails is actually not bad, not bad. I think I would take this over the wet weather. All right, this skinny, also dry. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely pumped on this new bike. Woo. Definitely what I was hoping for. Oh yeah, feeling good. Should I try this? Oh, back it up, back it up. And full wrong gear. Okay, let's try two gears. Two gears higher, or lower. 
And come down here. Come up here, here. And full commit. Oh yeah, no problem. Down the skinny. Yes, sir. Do a little booty shake. Jump the jump. Woo! <laughs> Just send her to flat. Why not? Oh, she's icy there. Oh, yeah. And then check out this new work. Yes, this is all nice new work from the NSMBA. Shout out to the builders, shout out to the NSMBA. Get your membership, support the team. Yeah, this bike is so light and clickable. It's very enjoyable. Very. It's got kind of that confidence of a big charging bike, but the, the nimbleness of a small bike. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's some death wood for you. Big, nice, high, skinny. Okay, that's not icy. It's not icy. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> Well, I tapped that tree with the old bar. I haven't fallen off this in a long time. Oh, let's catch my breath, I guess. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. I haven't fully dialed in the skinny riding on this bike, apparently. A couple near misses. Whoa, whoa. Let's do it again. All right, here's the hardest part of the trail. The climb of death. It's not this part though. It's coming up over right here. Okay, power, power. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I thought I made it. Did a selly, kicked a root, fell. <sighs> she climbs though. Ah, power. Oh, that took the wind out of my sail. All right, so this log's usually a slippery death log in the winter. Oh, she's dry. Oh yeah. Just dream conditions right now. How is this February? I mean, the temperature, 100% believable for February. 100%. All right, we're here at Boogie Nights, the jump trail. You've seen me ride this trail a million times, but not on the new bike. And every time I come here, there's new stuff on it. This trail has evolved from like, Kind of a single black jump line to probably having some legitimate like pro line level of jumps not in maybe their size but in their technical <laughs> challenge it's there's a couple in here that are pretty tricky so i don't know i'll try and do the berm gap i think then that double we'll see and then there's some new step down work huge new step down that i'm not gonna do but even the regular step downs now big boy so let's give it a go All right, you come in here, drop the drop, hit the jump, firm the gap. <laughs> hey. Wow, breaks the brakes. Oh, okay, gotta get used to how this thing jumps. All right. Oh, manuals like the dream. 
This is way bigger. Oh yeah. Whew. Scary. Scary jumps with the new bike. Jump the jump. Yes, sir. So good. So I definitely need to get used to the how this thing pulls. Definitely pulled a little harder than I needed to. But that was awesome. Did the double. And I usually don't. Did get squirrely on the berm cap though. Alright, let's shrap shelf some corners. Again, shout out to Anis NBA for this rebuild. Just glorious. What a fun way to get out of the start of the trail system. I see. Yeah. Oh, this thing is so fun in the corners. So easy to corner. You just like, you just tilt a little bit. Whew, you go. And I love it. All right, if you want to see these videos early, if you want to start with the channel, you want deals on Kush Corn, the shut the F up chain dampening system, go over to Patreon, join the Discord. We have a lot of fun over there. And that's it for the first ride on the new rig. I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo!